Hey guys, it's Marianne Farley. Welcome to my my new tutorial. We're doing um, a girl today with a. Uh, I guess she's wearing a turban. I don't know if she's wearing a, a tissue paper hat, but I'm calling it a turban. Okay. Um, all right. Getting started here. Um, I could not find my Tim Holtz. Uh, rolls of antique uh, tissue paper but I, I found some scraps laying around and I couldn't find my colored tissue paper all I could find was again scraps of orange and green or olive green which set my palette um I love those colors anyway it's probably why they were laying around but here I'm taking um my Caran Dash watercolor crayons in different shades of red and orange and just creating a background um, that dotted paper at the bottom was from um, the dollar store uh, anyway I'm taking my brayer and I'm spreading around some white um, gesso and I think uh, yeah there it goes the golden satin glazing fluid uh, that stuff has changed my life um, you know it breaks up anything that's acrylic you can see there that um, um, you know it, it lightened it up a little bit so you could see what's behind it I did my oval um, and I I'm putting down my guidelines here um, for the face, you, you cut it in half horizontally, and then you cut that half and half, and then you cut that half and half. And that's how you get your lines for your mouth and your nose. Although, I don't know what happened. I know I, I just saw my, me, myself put the guidelines down, and I don't know, they kind of disappeared. But you'll see um, as I go on here that I'm clearly not going to like what I started with even though those eyes are pretty big they were too small for my taste what I was doing here a rule of thumb is that you know you should have a oh, I'm just checking my my sketch there a rule of thumb is you know you should be able to put the size of one eyeball in between the two other eyes or full eyes not eyeball but you know that that's not the principle I'm working with here I want really big eyes and you know sometimes you just you don't know why you just um you have to go with what feels right what what your your gut is telling you that this painting is about even though um you may go in not knowing I'm putting down more gesso again um, spreading it around with the satin glazing fluid um, everything I use will of course be in the description um, I am using Liquitex acrylic paints for her her lips here and um, I don't know if I recorded the part where I put down um, a layer of clear gesso on her face and the reason I would do that or I do do that is so that you can see how the the watercolor crayon the Caran d'Ache watercolor crayon is is going down nicely um, if it was just the white gesso it it wouldn't adhere to it as well um, wow this <laughs> This video is going so fast. I have to talk fast. I, I think next time um, I'll, I'll do a shorter or slower time lapse. Um, okay, I'm using um, again golden uh, paints here to get my eyes down. Um, and it looks like one eye is lighter than the other, but believe it or not, it's the way my lamp on the right is, is hitting that although I don't know that really that's a much uh, thinner coat of that color on the right but you know we'll fix that as we go along and um, I just love putting more and more layers down there's um 
different media that you can use. Like I, I forget the name of it, but I recently purchased a very soft um, gel type crayon that where you can get these shadowy effects. But I don't know. I really, I at this point in my life, I just like building, um, building layers and you know using the the glazing fluid and and then light coats of watery gesso and this is another um golden color um a different brown i'm sorry i didn't uh i didn't i didn't think to bring it into this room um to give you the name but it will be in the descriptions it's um a more rustic type of brown um I'm going in and I'm putting highlights in and oh and I'm deciding that those nostrils were a little too high up for me and I noticed lately what I'm doing is when I'm when I'm doing red on the cheeks I'm using paint here not the watercolor crayons again I'm using some uh, one of my red uh, Liquitex acrylics I'm bringing it up right to the bottom of the eye and I think I'm doing that because you know ever since my mom passed last year all of my paintings um, are really are really expressing that grief and um, I didn't really realize it until I just talked about it now that I think I'm making the red right underneath coming up to to right underneath the eye because you know that's what someone looks like when they're crying or when they're grieving um i'll talk more about that in um in the slower version of this or the real-time version of this which will be on teachable um i'm putting some some darker paint on the upper lip there and I'll blend that bottom lip a little better but you know the the upper lip is always going to be darker than the bottom lip because it's in shadow I'm using a, a Liquitex olive green and as you can see I'm I'm also dragging it um, onto the face because you know it, if I were in a room that had a green glow to it then there would be a green a slight green glow on my face so even though she's a fantasy character in a fantasy world this would be true of her too so um yeah i learned that from an artist friend years ago and it has saved so many paintings since then i mean i'll even put some of that green into the whites of her eyes there um, at some point because um, again you know our eyes uh, reflect and and the whites of her eyes would reflect um, that green that's all around her I'm using the um, that golden brown color again to outline her eyes and again just breaking it up with the um, satin glazing fluid um, using my finger just to get more colors in on her body and oh and that little piece of dotted paper down in the corner I realized that 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 gave me the idea to to get more of that paper and, and make um, a dress out of it I'm using um, the dark golden brown um, to start creating a definition not only around her eyes but around the whole painting and um, there's that glazing fluid again um, just it allows me to maybe go do something else and then and then come back to spread that paint around because anybody who uses acrylics knows just how quickly they dry um, and this glazing fluid is great because you know it doesn't turn your acrylics into uh, oil 
paint. You know, it, it will still dry quickly. Okay, so I decided I didn't want to do hair. Um, who knows why we get inspired to do these things. I had some tissue paper around, again from the dollar store, uh, that had these line, like sparkle lines. I think you can kind of see it in there. Um, you know, I <laughs> just plop another piece on the top for no apparent reason. Um, oh, and of course, now that she has no hair, I have to put uh, some ears on her or she really wouldn't make any sense. Um, and I'm putting in, you know, oh, okay, like, like since that red hat is, is so dominant, I'm putting more red um, around the edges. Um, I'm putting some shadows on, you know, on her face, uh, which would be made by a hat like that. Um, I'll be darkening her ears. I'm putting in her eyebrows, which, you know, eyebrows can change the whole expression of your character, uh, depending, maybe I should do a short video just, just on eyebrows. And also, too, you can see, like, how low her eyelids are. That is also creating a, a very sad look. Um, okay, now I'm, I'm taking my watercolor crayon and I'm, I'm just, I'm going back and I'm adding highlights. It looks like, you know, in this painting, the light would be hitting her from the side and from the front. I'm taking more of that red paper and again, just, just trying to create some, some balance, um, by putting some strips at the bottom. Did I do a thumbs up there? <laughs> I think that was just uh, an illusion, but it looked like I gave an A-OK -okay sign. Um, um, I'm just detailing with uh, a Posca pen in her eyes, um, and that is what I used to create her um, pupils. So here she is finished. Unfortunately, during uh, taping, you, the colors get distorted, but... Um, Thank you again for joining me, and um, don't if you want the longer version, that's going to be unteachable. So I hope to see you soon. Thanks, guys.